Here's an example of a dot and a cross product together. So what we have is a frame with a cable. The cable has a tension of 450 newtons in it. And we want to know the moment around the diagonal AD. So not the moment around the IJK axes, but the moment around this new direction. And that's where the dot product's going to come in. And we're going to get the moment from just one of the pieces of cable, so the portion BH of the cable. So here's our force. It's BH. This is So we're going to ignore P. We're going to ignore BG. We're just going to look at this one force acting on it, and that's our 450 newton force. We're going to need to get the moment of this force around, first we're just going to connect it to some random point along that AD axis. We could go from A to B or D to B, but that's going to be what we have been doing, just at R cross F, so our position vector from A to B, and then our force acting on B. The new part of it is the dot product with the unit vector for AD, though. Taking the dot product with AD, that's going to change it from IJK direction to what is in the direction of AD. Okay, setting this up in Excel, and hopefully you're getting pretty good at taking cross products and figuring out the moment, and so this is just going to be like the other example moment problems. Split that vector into XYZ components, find the overall length of the cable. We're going to get the unit vectors going on here, dx over the total length, dy over to the total length. So there's our unit vector. So, so far it's just like we have been doing it before. You can copy and paste those equations around. F4 adds dollar signs and that'll hold those cells constant if you just type in F4. So there's our force broken into its IJK components. We're also going to need the unit vector pointing in the direction of AD. So we want the moment around AD, and we get the unit vector here, the same with any vector. So we're just looking at the dx, dy, dz for the vector AD. And this time, we just need the unit vector. We're not breaking up a force, so we can leave it at the unit vector. Next part, we're just going to put these numbers into our cross product. So there's our forces, and there is our unit vector that we're going to do the dot product. So I'm just copying those down in here into the cross product. Okay, so we can take a position vector from A to B, really anywhere along that line would work, but let's try it from A to B. So that's just forward in the x direction, and we can do our cross products right here in Excel. There's a lot of zeros here, but I'm going to punch in all of those anyways, and we can copy and paste and play around with that table later if we put all those equations in. So we have our cross product, we have our unit vector, and it's just x times x, y times y, z times z, add all those together, and that is how much of the moment is around AD. So we went from moment in the IJK direction to the moment around AD. Just to show you, we could have come from D to B instead of from A to B. So if I come up here and I change that position vector around at the front, you can see will that change our final result on here. And you can see that, in fact, it doesn't change it. We're still at negative 90. So we could have started from any point along that line AD, and that unit vector would get us back to where we started from. So just take a look at this diagram. We're now trying to rotate the force from cable BH around the line AD. It's negative. Use the right-hand rule. You're going back in the negative direction. So instead of IJK, we have moment around a new direction. 